everyone, welcome back. I am so excited to share with you guys our latest Kayali collection, Vacay in a Bottle. This is your passport to paradise. Ooh, yes. So today I'm gonna to be walking you through this collection, the inspiration behind each city, the juice, the ingredients, and why I picked each destination. We are launching this as a set in the 10 ml size because we really wanted to make this the set that you use for summertime and we wanted you to experience every single city so you could have a different type of destination and summer fragrance that fit different types of moods and emotions. It's going to be a limited edition set and we can't wait for you guys to try them. First, I feel like fragrances are really so powerful and so magical. You know, I think with any fragrance, you really can escape through the power of scent and your imagination. So for me, I've always thought, you know, if we could transport people through the power of fragrance, that would be really special because the truth is not all of us can travel every summer or any time. So if you can just change your emotions and escape and go to a new destination through a power of a perfume, you know, how incredible would that be? Truthfully, it started with Utopia, which was, you know, the inspiration was vacation in a bottle. That's what I called it. I was like, this is your vacation in a bottle. It's a beach holiday in a bottle. And after we launched that, and I just felt like I wanted to extend more things around the idea of traveling through fragrance, we decided we wanna launch a full collection around this and really make it something very special and choose destinations that are known for summer holidays because again, I don't usually get to travel in the summer for fun, usually it's for work, so I wanna travel through the power of scent. So first we're gonna speak about Capri in a Bottle, which is inspired by my look here today. And the Hero Note is a lemon sugar and the modification number is 14. Capri in a bottle smells very bright, very addictive and very sugary. So this really reminds me of walking on an island and basically in Capri in Italy. It just feels very nostalgic. It reminds me of the one time I visited, which was 2018 and I had the best holiday ever. There's literally lemons everywhere you go. There's beautiful trees and it's very bright, like the whole island is very bright. This fragrance is extremely bright. So the nose for this fragrance is actually a nose that we've never worked with before. It's our very first time and he's worked on two fragrances in this collection. They're my favorites, Maui in a Bottle and Capri in a Bottle. His name is Alexi Grujon and he's from France. I was just really excited because I felt like he really got the lemon sugar instantly. I told him, I just want a lemon sugar overload, and I feel like that's exactly what you're getting with this fragrance. The keynotes for Capri in a Bottle are lemon, sugar, raspberry, freesia, vanilla, and musk. So the next fragrance we're gonna speak about is Maui in a Bottle. It's probably the most, like for me, the most wearable fragrances that I would wear every single day, not just in the summertime. Like I just feel like they, are so happy and they're definitely very, very me. So Sweet Banana is the hero note. It's very prominent in the top. So as soon as you spray this, you're gonna get this beautiful banana overdose, but it's interesting because a lot of people I know who hate bananas and hate banana scent love this. Specifically, my sister Alia, she loathes banana. Like if I eat banana, she leaves the room, but she's obsessed with this fragrance. So I feel like our perfumer Alexi did a really great job balancing the banana, making it still feel very fine fragrance, but having this addictive sweet banana in the fragrance, and it's just unbelievably beautiful. And probably out of all the fragrances we have in this collection, the best to layer with. Like this can go with every scent and every scent I've worn it with, it just makes it so much better. Love it. If I had to describe this fragrance in three words, I would definitely say it's sweet, like the Hero Note, sweet banana. It's solar, so you definitely feel like you're somewhere sunny, you smell this like dose of sunshine, and it's blissful, it's very happy. Like because of the sunshine and the banana, I think both notes are very happy. So when you spray this, you're instantly gonna feel very calm, peaceful, and happy at the same time. So the key notes in Maui in a Bottle are sweet banana, like our hero note. We also have beautiful juicy pear, coconut cream, jasmine, sandalwood, and vanilla. So the next fragrance we're going to speak about is Maldives in a Bottle, Ylang Coco 20. So for me, Maldives in a Bottle is very aquatic, serene, and refreshing, just like the Maldives is. I don't know if you guys have been there before. I personally have been to the Maldives and I love it so much. It's very 
very relaxing and when you're there you feel like you're in the middle of nowhere but it's just very beautiful the beaches are beautiful the water is so beautiful and you definitely smell coconut everywhere you go as soon as you arrive to the islands they give you a fresh coconut to drink and they have beautiful flowers everywhere so this is definitely to me the best reflection of what Maldives smells like. So this fragrance was created by our legend, Gabby, who's worked on more than half of our KLE fragrances. She did such a great job of taking the inspiration of what I remember from the Maldives. I was really pushed outside my comfort zone with this fragrance and I love that. I love when a perfumer can push me outside of my own world and challenge me to use different notes. And also my team challenged me on this fragrance too. Like they fell in love with this direction that was so different to my usual preferences. And I think what sets it apart the most is the rosemary note. It's very herbal, it's a little bit aromatic, which I usually run away from. The keynotes and Maldives in a bottle are ylang ylang and coconut. I would say these are the most prominent as soon as you smell it, you really smell this beautiful combination, which is why we made it the Hero Note. We also have Rosemary, which I spoke about earlier, which is quite aromatic and quite different. We also have Banana Blossom, so different to Maui in a Bottle, the Banana Blossom is the banana flower. We also have Wild Lemon and Starfruit. Now we have Marrakesh in a Bottle Orange Blossom 24. Marrakesh in a Bottle is very sensual, mysterious, and warm. Very similar to what I picture and imagine Marrakesh would be. I really wanted to make sure that we use the Orange Blossom as a hero note. From what I've shared with everybody who's been to Marrakesh, they said that this was Definitely a great way to capture the scent in a bottle. So the nose for this fragrance is Alberto Morales, a master perfumer, one of the top perfumers in the world, and I've been dying to work with him for such a long time. We've actually created some submissions for other projects in the past, but unfortunately they never made it, so I've just been like dying to work with him and I'm so happy we were able to work on this project. The keynotes of Marrakesh in a Bottle are Orange Blossom, of course, and we have Bergamot, Pink Pepper, Turkish Rose, Neroli, and Cedarwood. Here are my top layers for the Vacay in a Bottle collection. So for Maui in a Bottle, I love to layer it with vanilla candy. To me, this just makes a really beautiful, sweet floral combination. And if you like sweet fragrances, you're going to love this together. To me, this combination is very happy because vanilla candy is a very happy fragrance. And then also Maui in a Bottle is very happy. So together it's like a happiness overdose with candy and banana and sweetness and a beautiful floral dry down. So next we're gonna layer Maldives and Utopia. <sighs> wow. To me, you know, this combination really gives you sunshine and water in a bottle. Like if you are going on a beachy holiday, this is definitely the combination to wear. When I was developing Utopia Vanilla Coco, it was a time where I really wanted to go on a beachy holiday, so in my head it was vacation in a bottle. Like if you can't travel and you wanna to go to a beach, try this combination, it's amazing. So for the next combination, we're going to do Capri in a bottle and Vanilla 28. <sighs> wow, this is so good. We already have a lot of sweetness and sugar in Capri in a bottle, but if you wanna make it even sweeter, even more sugary, adding that vanilla 28 is going to definitely make you more irresistible and just more gourmand. And if you like the smell of like lemony cake, you're gonna love this combination. For the next combination, we're going to use Marrakesh in a bottle and Deja Vu White Flower. Changes very fast. So we have a lot of orange flower and Deja Vu White Flower too. If you like white floral scents, you are going to love this combination. And it's going to be very, very projecting and very long lasting because both scents and their scent profile last very long. I would say that Deja Vu definitely balances out Marrakesh in a Bottle because Marrakesh in a Bottle is a little bit more spicy. It's a little bit more of an orange blossom Overdose, where Deja Vu White Flower has so many beautiful floral notes, as well as our beautiful top of our pear and nectarine, and the beautiful dry down of the amazing vanillas that we have in Deja Vu White Flower. So I feel like together the combination definitely makes Marrakesh in a Bottle a little bit more balanced and more floral for sure. And just remember, layering is all about having fun and experimenting, so don't be afraid to 
try different things, try your other scents together, mix these together as well. I love mixing them, but just have fun with it and there's no rules. So I hope you guys enjoyed learning about our newest collection, Vacay in a Bottle. I hope that they become your passport to paradise. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Love you all so much.